AI in manufacturing is pretty multifaceted. And so we start to see AI appear in things like predictive maintenance. It's probably the number one use case in Asia today. We are at the early but exciting stage. We see abundance adoptions of this application uh, across discrete manufacturing, such as automotive, high tech, uh, and semiconductor, and also process industry like oil and gas, food and beverage. Uh, and etc. If you look at, at, at what our parent Envision Energy has done over the past 10 years, it's used IT to improve its OT, right, its operational technology. They manufacture wind turbines and operate wind and solar farms and they built software to improve the yield of those assets as well as the lifetime of those. And that's a very much an operational experience using IT to improve its overall operations. Fortunately, there aren't any sectoral regulations in the manufacturing industry that hinder technology adoption in Asia. I always advise my customers to focus on data and not necessarily on the technology. And this really helps you to identify the many risk factors that are present throughout the entire data lifecycle. In order to deploy AI, we are talking about how we aggregate tons of data, move them around and consume the data to learn about the data and act on it. People are still a bit unsure about what, what can they and can't they do with the data. And governments might want to start exploring that because data exchanging of business information at scale will be hampered if it isn't clear what people can and can't do. The government can help with policies and procedures and you'll start to see about data and a data sovereignty, how, how do we move data in and out of the cloud. And so a lot of those rules and regulations will have to be revisited in the next few years. Then you have the whole idea about reskilling. The government will have to become involved, help the customers and help their citizens to be reskilled as, as AI or the, the processes change. I think that here in Singapore, they've done an excellent job. The Singaporean government is, understands exactly where they have to reskill at, how much they have to, effort they have to go through. So it's a joint uh, process between government and private entities. We see government can play a major role in setting up a work group on consortium that helps to facilitate communication, sharing of experience, and building up standards. Manufacturing firms should stay on top of the latest in terms of legal and regulatory developments. They should work very closely with governments to help shape policy for AI adoption.